Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an unreal process has crashed UE Kronos. GPU crash dump triggered. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, follow the next step. Now Epic Games Launcher user can go to Epic uh, Games Launcher and then click on settings and uh, click on profile icon then go to settings and scroll down over here you will find the Kronos game. I don't have the game so I'm showing you a different game. Expand Kronos game and then put a check on additional command line arguments over here type in dash dxl and then you can not launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working remove this uncheck this and follow the next step now the next step is to rename the config folder when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be gone will be lost so for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show. Put a check on hidden items and the open app data folder. Open the local folder. Now find Kronos folder. Here you can see saved folder. Open this folder. Here you can see config folder. Make a right click, rename it. You can even delete it. So just rename or delete this config folder and then relaunch the game. When you relaunch the game, it will compile the saved address once again and then you can check. If that does not work, rename the save game files. When you rename the save game files, all the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first and then you can rename it. So again, for this, you can go to the same location. So go to this location and go back. Kronos folder, you have to rename the Kronos folder over here. Make a right click, copy this folder first and then create a backup. Once you have a backup created, so let me copy this, then paste it over here. And once you have a backup created, now you can rename this. Make a right click and then you can rename this folder and then relaunch the game. The game will start from scratch. And once you are able to launch the, launch the game, if you want to put the original folder back, you can. And then check, still not working. The next step is to now Epic Games Launcher user can restart Epic Games Launcher. So if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can close Epic Games Launcher and then relaunch Epic Games Launcher and then try to relaunch the game. If that does not work, in that case, you can go to your profile icon and then click on settings over here. If there is any update over here, so if you see update and restart, click on update and restart or install service now. So over here, if there is any update, you will see update option over here. And once Epic Games Launcher is updated, now you have to check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to, now if the game is crashing on cutscene screen, then you can skip cutscene. If you're able to launch the game, you can even turn off ray tracing and then check. So to escape the cutscenes, uh, you can press the space key or you can press the button B on the controller. So press the B button and you can skip and that should help you to turn off the ray tracing. So you can go to settings and over here uh, you can see ray tracing. If ray tracing is on, turn it off. Now the next step is to verify the game files. Now Steam users go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. If you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can go to library. I don't have the game on Epic Games Launcher. I have the game on Steam. So I'll show you a different game. You click on the Kronos game uh, icon and you will see three dots over here. Click on it, then go to manage and then you will see verify option, verify and then you can launch the game. Now still not working. Uh, the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can click on the game manage and then click on this folder icon, go to the game installation folder. For Steam users, make a right click, manage browse local files and then make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, open Kronos folder, binaries, Win64 
over here you can see this exe file make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok still not working disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program, allow both the exe file. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow, click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, go to the game installation folder, and then select both the exe file and then click on open again add an allowed app browser apps open chronos binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now you can launch the game still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on start search and the very top driver will be the latest graphic card driver so you can click on download over here get download and then click on download now and once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now for amd card users go first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings Click on add desktop app, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open, uh, click on add. Once the game is added, click on it and then select high performance. Again, click on add desktop app, select the first exe file and then click on add. Once it is added, again, click on the game and then select high performance. Add both the exe file and then high performance and then relaunch the game. Now, if you have a desktop like desktop users, make sure that you connect the SDMI cable or the display cable to the graph dedicated graphic card slot. Next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows set box, go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click on power options. In my case, I have only balance. In your case, if you see power saver, select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check. You can even try high performance or balanced. And first of all, try power saver. If that does not work, you can go for balanced or high performance. Check which one is working fine for you. Now, the next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now, for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Over here, click on advanced graphics settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game. If this is already on, turn it off and then check. So, check which one is working fine for you. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings now under advanced click on the first settings advanced change uncheck this box select the drive where the game is installed then select custom size for initial size you can try this if this does not work we can always go back to default so you can just give it a try so initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM. Total RAM you can check on your computer by going to your settings, uh, settings and then system. Scroll down, go to about option. Over here you will see the uh, total RAM. In my case, it's 16 gigabyte. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. In my case, it's 16 multiplied 1024. That is in total in megabyte. We have to convert this to megabyte. Multiplied 1.3 for initials, uh, sorry. Uh, 16 multiplied 1024 that is in megabyte multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 uh, 24576 now for maximum size it's 3 multiplied total RAM total RAM in my case is 16 
multiplied 1024 in megabyte multiplied 3 that is 49152 and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you click on set and then click on ok click on apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check if that does not work restart your computer once and still not working this time you can type in view advanced system settings once again and then click on view advanced system settings click on first setting advanced change then select system manage side this time and then click on set set is important click on ok ok apply ok ok restart your computer and then you can check if that does not work we will set it to default that is view advanced system settings again first settings advanced change put a check over here and then click on ok 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 and then you can check next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this you can go to microsoft website so you search in google and go to microsoft go to the official website and over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and x64 version you have to download both the file x86 run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once both the files are installed then restart your computer after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version so go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios and then you can check next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have hotas v pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on turn it off if you have any other overlay application like discord running or uh, if you have nvidia app running you can go to uh, discord settings turn off over overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app uh, settings and then you can turn off nvidia overlay over here and then check close all the overlay application and then you can launch the game do not overclock if you have overclocked, set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like MSI after burner, Riva tuner. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. If you have undervolted, you can be able to remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. Now for this, uh, you can make a record in the game, manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. If the game is installed to D drive or E drive, or any external drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel